Greg, you testified before the Senate Foreign Relations Subcommittee on East Asia, the Pacific, and the International Cybersecurity Policy on China's AI diffusion strategy and the interplay between economic security and national security. What was the key takeaway from your testimony? The Trump administration has framed the race in AI between the United States and China as the modern day equivalent of the space race of the Cold War. And the Senate Foreign Relations Committee is trying to understand what parts of the US strategy are working and what were not working. My testimony and most of the hearing itself focused on the policy of advanced AI chips. Essentially, there's an active debate going on between whether or not we should sell the most advanced AI chips to China in the hopes that they will become dependent upon US technology, or whether or not we should restrict the exports of those technologies in order to ensure that China is not receiving a boost from US companies in this overall race. We need to place these events and these decisions in historical context. If you look at the largest AI data centers and supercomputers right now and what we're building over the next year, we're not that far away from data centers that cost tens or maybe even a hundred billion dollars containing a million of the most advanced AI chips in them and consuming gigawatts of electricity. The United States has about 75% of the world's supercomputing capacity in AI right now and a significant edge over China. If we were to go back in time and instead remove the export controls that have been in place over the past few years, I feel confident in saying that the largest AI supercomputers on planet Earth right now would already be in China. And that is the adverse scenario that these export controls have averted. At the same time, the Chinese government has made clear in policies going back to Made in China 2025 and policies that were restated in the 352 strategy of 2020 that indicate that they are not willing to become dependent on US technology. So all we can do is build them a bridge to a future that they have already clearly stated is not going to include the United States. What are you looking to happen next? The big debate right now is about the Safe Chips Act, which would actually codify technological safeguards on export controls into law, putting the standards as to what chips are acceptable to sell to China and which ones have excessive performance and therefore should be restricted. That's a debate going on literally this very week with a decision expected both by the Trump administration, which is considering whether or not to sell, allow the export of NVIDIA H200 chips and the Safe Chips Act, which if it's included in either an appropriations omnibus bill or the National Defense Authorization Act, could codify the restriction in law and thereby tie the hands of the Trump administration.